Okay, what we have here, we're at the back of the Sabre 31 RLDS, and one of the neat little features that you have, in case you're one of these people, let's say maybe you want to take some bicycles with you, uh, maybe a barbecue grill, uh, a generator, an ice chest, anything at all you want to take with you, you've got a rack built in, all you do is flip it down, just pops in like that and you're ready to go um, even got a little stand on here you can pop out and put on there but that's to take any of the extra things that you might want to take along with you that you don't want to put inside the coach itself and maybe you don't have room in the back of your vehicle and whenever you're not using it it flips up out of the way or you can just pop this pin right here and take it off completely if you're not going to be using it for a while and you don't want to leave it on the back let's go in and look at some of the inside features now that I've shown you some of the neat outside features on the Sabre we're inside the Palomino Sabre 31 RLDS. It's a double slide travel trailer, which is pretty rare to have double slides in a living room in a travel trailer. The nice thing about that is, is that's where you spend most of your time, is in the living room. If you're going to be going camping, you're going to be either outside or if it's raining or the weather's bad and when you get back in the evening, you're going to be in the living area. You're not going to be staying in the bedroom the whole time. But you've got your two uh, rocker chairs in the slide out on this side. You've got nice big windows all the way around, uh, out the back and on the side. You've got a nice uh, couch over here, and this is an air mattress couch. So whenever you get ready to make it down for visitors, you just pull it around, pull the legs out, flip it on down, and inflate it. It's real easy to do. Plus, you got storage both beneath it and some above it. So if you do have other people coming with you, you've got a place for them. Now, the nice feature about it, and some of you may have already asked by now by looking at the floor plan, where's the TV? Well, when you've got the view and you want to see outside, you have it like this. Then when you want to watch a little TV, let's say that football game's coming on, you just punch the button and up she comes. That's the nice thing about the LCD TVs. They allowed the manufacturers a lot more flexibility in where and how they place the TVs. You couldn't have done this a few years ago with the old tube TVs because the depth was too much and I guarantee it would have burned out that motor on some of the size and the weights of some of the tube TVs. Um, I want to call your attention to the entertainment system over here. Most Forest River products will have a DVD player built in with an AM FM stereo, CD player, DVD player and weather band radio. Um, all that's built in. Now you also, off here to this side, let me turn that off so you don't have the humming noise, you'll notice they've got game slots. If you have kids and they want to take their Xbox or their PlayStation, you can plug it in right there. Um, your cable your uh, for your satellite box plugs in right there. And let's say you had an MP3 player, you want to play it through the surround sound system, you can do that. You can plug it in right here. Or let's say you're going on a, uh, on a trip and you're going to take lots of pictures, you want to plug your, uh, your video camera in there and watch them on there, you just plug it in right here. It makes it real easy. Then notice off here, you've got an iPod uh, dock so that you can plug your iPod in there and play it through the surround sound as well. A lot of neat electronic features in the, in the Forest River products. One thing you're going to notice about this is a residential style and residential quality. You're going to have upgraded fabrics, you're going to have upgraded uh, features like the carpet. When you walk through, and I know it's hard because you're watching on a video, but this carpet is really padded um, with an extra layer of padding and uh, it's more of a residential style carpet. The fabrics on the couch, um, you've got the hard valances uh, that make it a little nicer window treatment. You've got the day-night shades, which is an upgrade from just a regular mini blind, so you don't hear them rattling around all the time. Um, you've got the high-rise faucet here over the sink, and you've got, you know, the nice big deep sinks. I mean, you can fit quite a few plates and things in here. Um, even got the pull-out spray, makes it real nice. And if you need a little extra countertop, you can just pop that up right there. You've got a Lazy Susan built in the back here, and then notice the spice rack here. Lots of cabinets and lots of drawers. You've got a nice sized kitchen, and all these are metal runners, the residential style ball bearing. Um, it's going to come with a water filter, a house type water filter. It's going to filter all your water that goes through. Now I showed you stoves in other brands. Notice how, how tall this one is. Um, it's about four inches taller than most. So you can actually fit a turkey in here in this oven. Um, 
It's got your three burner stove top with the front burner being a high output burner. So it's going to burn hotter at higher altitudes. It'll boil your water quicker than what the others will. Um, got your pantry here. It looks narrow at first till you get back there and notice, wow, that thing goes all the way back. So it's actually pretty deep and it goes, you know, all the way floor to ceiling. You got a nice big refrigerator, uh, the double door, refrigerator, freezer, top and bottom. So plenty of space for all those goodies you're going to take with you. Now this one has a side aisle bath. And notice you've got an extra door in the bath too that goes right in through to the uh, bedroom. Um, the toilet is a porcelain toilet. So it's going to be more residential. You've also got a nice deep medicine cabinet. And one of the really nice things is that corner shower. Now I'm 6'3", but I have no problem standing up in here if I was going to take a shower, wash my hair, do whatever. Plenty of room to turn around and plenty of height so that I'm not having to squat down to wash my hair. You've also got a fantastic fan up over the toilet. So if you get a lot of moisture in here when you're taking a hot shower, you can flip that on. It works like an attic fan and it's going to suck the moisture right out. Also works really good on a, on a day that's cool and you don't want to have the air conditioner on but you want to circulate some air. Um, you can turn that on, leave your windows open, it'll do a really nice job. You got a nice door going into the bedroom, a solid door. A lot of coaches are going to have the little accordion doors and nobody likes the accordion door. Um, but you've got a solid door here going into the bedroom, plus you have a solid door, the slider door going into the bathroom. So you got a lot of privacy in this coach. Um, if you do have somebody sleeping in the back on the, on the air mattress, it's, they're going to have plenty of privacy and you're not going to be waking each other up if one of you is a snore. Hey, you got plenty of, plenty of doors to close off there. Notice the TV. Um, a lot of coaches are not given a good spot for a TV that you can watch when you're laying in bed. This one does. And then you've also got storage under the bed. And it's on pistons, so it comes up real easy. It's where you store your boxes for your TVs that come with it. You've got a laundry chute, so you can flip this up and drop your dirty clothes down in there so that whenever you get home, you don't have all those dirty clothes piled up in here in the coach. They're outside underneath. Notice you got nightstands, shirt closets, storage above, individual lights, and even a drawer on each side. Plus, you got a little cubby hole back here that you may want to set your glasses or a glass of water down there. All in all, you can see why the Sabre um, by Palomino is a nice coach for the money. Um, we've got these as well as many other hundreds of other different floor plans and different styles. If you need a two bedroom, we've got two bedrooms. If you need a bath and a half, we've got all of them. But you'll see why the 31 RLDS and the Sabre Palomino is a nice rear living room floor plan. If that's what you're looking for, you know, we've got it. Um, if you have any questions about it, give me a call, shoot me an email. It's Matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at FuntimeRV.com um, about these or any of the other brands we have. We hope to see you soon down at Funtime.